Oh, 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 oh. What's happening? We back. 11 days until the Tigers uh, report for camp on August 1st. We're going to have my dog Kev on the line coming up. We're going to jump right into it, man, and we're going to go right into the running back situation. We're going to go right into the wide receiver situation. It's a it's a lot of gangsters at that wide receiver position for um, LSU this year. And uh, quarterbacks aren't going to have a problem with, with pass catchers. We're going to discuss, discuss, <laughs> discuss that. One, running backs, wide receivers, hot topics. Coming back up next on Where My Dog's At. So, so, well, I gotta tell you really what happened. So, so, man, it's a when they play that song, that fight song, man. You know, we only play that fight song in the fourth quarter in the start of the game. Mm. Well, well, it was a time where they were trying to rally us, and we were getting our ass destroyed. Yeah, it was it was thirteen that in the halftime. The band played the fight song in the second quarter. Show like did. Show did. It, it man. They absolutely that did. That goddamn song got in my bones, and I started having a goddamn out of body experience. <laughs> and I told Coach Saber was walking, and I told Coach Saber, Coach, I want to play. And he looked at me and said, Why don't you step behind the line? <laughs> topics dog how you feeling man? hot topics let's get into that right now what we talking about right now is you know myself i played for uh coach jimbo fisher and i also played for coach nick saban um at the hot twilight of my years at lsu uh transferring from coach jerry Donardo. and I, i've spoken about this a couple times we gotta turn the air up down in here though damn um I've seen Coach Saban, honestly, get into a couple, a few spats with coaches, with, with players. And the one person, honestly, and everybody knows Jimbo's my guy, but the one person that I've never seen back down is Jimbo Fisher, right? So for, so for, for Coach Saban... To, excuse me, to go into the, the the kind of rant that he did, but I think it was a very strategic, a very planned rant on his part. Um, I don't know if the, the name calling part, I think somebody might have slipped, slipped him a Mickey or, 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 or slipped him something uh, before, he, before he got on that podium. Because for him to call out Jimbo and then call out Deion Sanders, uh, which has put all his efforts into trying to revitalize the HBCU and trying to bring notoriety and, 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 and some uh, platform to those guys at, at the HBCU level for him to call them guys, and especially for him to call them guys out after dog. Coach Saban been winning the, the damn recruiting war and the recruiting battles for years now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're all back. We're going to jump right into it. We got a uh, 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 <laughs> patriarch of the show, you should say. The big dog. Uh, always good to get your input, Kev. We're going to go right in on uh, uh, the running back situation at LSU, my dog. First of all, how your day going, dog? How your day going, my dog? Man, I'm going to put it to you like this. My day just went great. I just seen a guy in an Ashton Martin put his top back up. I know that's right. At the right. red light. I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> <I>, Motor. <laughs> say that motivation. Motivation, baby. Motivation <laughs> like a bug. <laughs> yeah, that's motivation there, dog. Uh, nah, man. Doing good, man. It was a good day, man. Did some work with my brother, man. It's always good when you're working with family. Yeah. And you're enjoying it. And you're having a good time. Um. On my on my way to try to enjoy some some high school football, they got a little quick snack, seven on seven, 
in Lafayette and St. Thomas More, so I'm going to try oh, to take okay. a little look at that. Yeah, that's always good. That weather must be good out there then. In uh, it rained a little bit. It rained a little bit. It, well, it rained about an hour ago. Yeah. It's clearing up. So you never know. But you know, once that rain clears, I just, hell. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, it's, oh, man, you ain't lying, Ken. It's going to be scorch out, what they call a scorch out. Yeah. Man. Them damn pads on, too. They even make it worse. Shit. So, look, Kev, 11 days before these boys got a uh, report, and I'm telling you, you are s s perfect. These are your guys. These are your guys right here that's, 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 that's getting ready to go out and compete uh, uh, with this new staff and try to um, continue to build on what they've shown so far. And I know these guys are different backs. We got a back that, you know, they're basically with, with number f John Emery that they're basically um, looking for him to have that, 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 that season that equals up to the talent that we've seen from him in the past. Because we didn't see it last year due to some academic thing, academic situation. But just, you know, we got minor you got uh, 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 four. You got, you know, these guys. So your opinion, Kev, starting with with, with uh, number four. Uh, John? Yeah. John is everything you want in the back. Um, he, can, he can do it all. He's one of those guys that was blessed with the natural talent. Um, it's just other things that he has to put together. Um, I know exactly what they're talking about when they say they see greatness in him. Right. Because we all, we've all seen it. That's why we wanted John Emery at LSU instead of anywhere else. Right. Um, and he, he's he's up for the task. Um, I, I just hope that, you know, he stays on the right path like he's going right now. It seems like he has a good head on his shoulders right now. So we just going to wait to see. What kind of – if you had to – and I know – we don't like to put guys in the category, but if you if you had to say what was John Emery's greatest strength, whether it's vision, patience, explosion, whatever it is, what would you say? Because and also, do you consider him a, a a first and second down back or a third down back, or can he can he carry the load uh, for all three downs? He can carry a little for all three downs, but I I'd make him more of a first second down back mm -hmm. uh, just because of his natural talents. His natural feel for the game, how how he understands the the, the way his guys are blocking, um, he may it, it's it's crazy how he has such a great feel for what's going on in front of him as a as a running back when he gets the ball in his hands. So I mean, from what I hear you saying is is that patience? It's everything. He he has the total package now. Okay, okay, okay. okay. He has the total package. Okay. When he see it, can he put his foot down and accelerate through that whole calf like we like? He has a burst, but there there's a couple of kids on that, that's in that backfield that that has the that has it be, that burst better than him. But all around, John has everything that you want in the back. Like I said, he just has to work on certain things, little things. I got you. So I, you know, because I know I we I've we spoken to. Uh, Sloan, we've spoken to them. We've spoken to those guys over there, and they're very. I mean, we've even had John in here himself, and I mean, the kid's the kid looks amazing. You know what I mean? He, he looks like he's ready to go. Look like he put on uh, added pounds to carry the weight a little bit more. Um, and I'm hoping that they see everything, and we see everything that we know the talent is within, and and that is John Emery. And and I'm gonna take it to your other man now. I know you had the opportunity to work. With, 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 with Kiner and Godwin as well. And, 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 you know, both of these guys I know turned heads for y'all. But um, what do you think about Ky Minor? So my cord, the one, the one that left? Yes, sir. Uh, he, he, power back, uh, explosive, d does things that that's just amazes me. Um, I, I, I think we've seen in a couple of spring scrimmages we had when he was at LSU, how he just jumped over. Like, you wouldn't think a guy that heavy right. <laughs> would jump jump over somebody. Now, do you think uh, the backfield was too crowded for him, Kev, or he could have carved out a niche for himself? Uh, different different type of guy, Ro. Um, uh, up north type of kid that he takes your word for your word. 
Um, and I think some things were told to him mm -hmm. while I was gone, and he, he didn't agree with it, and he tried to he tried to stick it out, yeah. he tried to stick it out, but it, it didn't work out. Um, when when you get your trust messed with, yeah. it's it's tough going forward. Well, especially if you if you're a kid like you said that put his word and everything into what you told him, and then now you know things aren't what it's stacking up to be. Then you know a, a guy like that. You know, yeah, you know him best. A guy like that is definitely gonna rub him the wrong way. He's gonna get the hell up out of town. No, now trust me, bro. I still talk to the kids, still check up on the kid. Yeah. The kid never wanted to leave LSU now. Yeah. <laughs> never wanted to leave, but you know, hey, he wanna play just like any other kid, they wanna play football. Yeah. And I mean, especially coming from that far, you know. Right. Coming from right. that exactly. far, you want you want you already that far, you at least wanna be treated fairly. So definitely when that don't go that yes. way and you that far from home, it's like, man, let me get back closer to where I'm at. At least I'm around, you know what I mean? Family and things of that nature. So hats off to him, man, and good luck to him. You know, that, 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 that's a tough thing. Cause I, I remember you, me and you was talking about him, both of those guys in the, in the, um, indoor last year. And you was excited to be working with those guys. So I remember him vividly. Man, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I'm putting I'm putting up to the uh, to the place, man. This got a nice little crowd over there. Oh, listen, man. You know, it, it, it's 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 LSU. I mean, excuse me, it's Louisiana football. Yeah. It's time. It's time to go. That's why we talking about this right now. It's go time. So let me ask you something, Kevin. Right. After everything and seeing all these guys up, if you had to say go out there and give somebody the first opportunity, would you go with two backs? Would you go? Would you go with 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 your boy going first and then have Emory first and then have everybody behind him? Yeah, that, that's how I fight. That fight, that's how it would work out. So that's it, how it would be. Uh, uh, a good one, look, <laughs> good one really impressed a lot of people last year in camp. Um, a lot of people don't know that good one was a kind of a header, kind of, yeah. before he got hurt. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he really impressed us with his toughness. Um, his ability, he's like lightning in a bottle, Six. Yeah. Like, when I say lightning in a bottle, oh my God, this kid can put his foot in the ground and go, bro. So that's what you mean when uh, you say they got ones in the backfield that really could put their foot down and go get it. Yes, indeed. I mean, look, not taking anything away from anybody else, but who's... When this kid see it, like you say, when he see it, yeah, it's going. He is going. Get it. And and, and Bradford is a third down back, Kev. Bradford, yeah, he could be a third down back. He could be a third but down. He's back. so he's a he's an explosive kid, very explosive. I thought he was the most explosive until Armani Goodwin came, and I was like, ooh, okay, never hey, mind. I he's thought just, so too. Cause remember when I seen Bradford at the end of the year last year, I was right, like, and right, I asked, right. and I asked you about him. I like, who the hell is that? Cause he, he just powers. every time he tested the seat, you know how some of them guys they walk fast, they run for everything they do is damn fast. Right, that's right, how right. he. That's how that's the type of athlete he seems like he is. He powerful, is he's he? A, he's a powerful explosive. Yeah. How big is he, Kev Bradford? Uh, he's about 215, 220. He might be thicker, too. He that big? Yeah, he's a track guy now. Uh, he big. He's gained some, he's gained some weight. He's gained some weight since he's been there. Hey, any, any you heard anything about the transfer from Penn State, Noah Kane? I've, I've talked to Noah. I've talked to Noah already. How? We, uh, I, we recruited Noah when he was coming out right, of high school. Right. We tried to get Noah. Right, right. I remember. Um, a good I, look. He's gonna be a, a, a great addition um, to the running back room because he's a veteran guy that played a lot of that played a lot of, yeah. Yeah. A lot of snaps yeah. that knows the game that understands it. It's gonna be a great help for like Armani and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna be he's gonna be a great help for everybody in the room because because if I rem if I remember correctly, he was a very intelligent uh, football player whenever he was recruiting him. Well, I've spoken to him a couple of times, man, and you're right, he is. Uh, uh, very, very, I know his uncle very well, and uh, Courtney, definitely a very um, 
intelligent young man and powerful powerful young man yes powerful so right, i think right, he's right. going to be very very good addition so we going john emory and everybody else underneath him right now it's, it's, I, I, I gotta mention this kid's name because it, it makes sound crazy when i say this but i trusted this kid more than anybody in the running back room when i was coaching that group and that's josh williams mm. uh and and that's simply because he was he always done everything right uh he might not been the flashiest he might not been the fastest or the quickest but if you knew, if you need the job to be done it was gonna get done if you put josh Williams. In. yeah that's what i'm talking about hey and and i know you saying that the best thing he do is always know his responsibilities definitely always definitely. you you know we you know we was taught. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You better know your responsibilities, especially not to get that boy killed, a hundred percent. Right. Josh Williams, y'all heard it, man. We but but here we go. So that means all that's telling me, Kev, is there's going to be really, really great competition to get on the field. You know, from the from from that position with all those guys in the mix with all the different things that they bring to the table. You know what I mean? All them guys seem like they bring something different to the table. And who going to be consistent at it, my dog? And that's the most important thing. And that's what you always try to tell the guy, no matter what position you play. Hey, everybody got talent. They wouldn't recruit you here if you didn't have talent. Right. How consistent are you with your talent? Right, 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 right. How can you put it together? How can you put it together? Right. Stewie was saying How Josh are- Williams when you were saying it. Stewie oh no, nah, Stu! I'm not gonna forget about my man, Stu. Hey, look, I, look! I watched the game, so I see you. I, you could tell who who the coaches trust by who they put in and what situations every time. Right, hundred percent. Right. If, if right. it's third down and four, and you know you got to get that pass protection or them four yards, and you see Josh Williams in there, you know, coach trust. Him. Yeah. Nah, I mean that's the name of the game when it comes, especially third down situations. That's the name of the game, care. I mean, hell, you talking to Kev on the phone, you talking to one of the ones that's been trusted the most in third down situations. I mean, not just at LSU, but in New England for freaking years. So he knows how important and how infant, Look, what kind of an emphasis that, that was on the, that thing, man. I used to be dumping that thing off the key fees. Like, I mean, man. it's a matchup nightmare every time. I mean, who, <laughs> throwing who, it to you know 33. what I'm saying? So, get yeah, it to fall. <laughs> I always tell them quarterbacks, know your matchups, dog. Know where you get out of trouble is. Get right. out of trouble is always 33 on the back, 33 on a you know line uh, um, safety. Doesn't matter. So Joe was good at that. He always knew how to get out of his damn way. Kev, what about these receivers, <laughs> dog? Which ones? All of them, Kev. Listen, this 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 this, this, this is my real question. I want to ask you. I know Besh, right? Cause it's a lot of these receivers, right? Dog. I mean, it's a whole lot. But I know Besh now. They they doing more with not having him attached. Um, cause they're making him a true wide out now and not having, right. not having him attached. And I know he was detached a lot and, and, and just for everybody, I don't know, detached me, not a part of the line of scrimmage. He's out wide flanked out, standing up as a receiver, not a tight end. Um, and I see he's going more. He's starting in the receiver's room now. Um, and all that, you think that helps us or hurts us with him? Uh, it, it doesn't matter with him. Uh, it, it ain't gonna help. It ain't gonna hurt us or help. I mean, it ain't gonna not help us. It's gonna help us. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, I think what we were trying to do with some of the guys we had last year, I think we were trying to get matchups. Yeah, yeah, we were yeah. trying to create. Yeah. Okay. We were trying to create matchup problems by lining him up as a tight end. Um, if you've seen, there weren't too many times that we, when he was lined up at a tight end, that we tried to make him lead block or was. The head, head of, you know, the no, nah. no, not at all. Nah. He did it a couple of times just to keep him honest, but he's, right, right, it, it's right. not some, it, 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 you know, it's just like when you had Gilbert there before he left, you know, he ain't damn blocking right. nobody. You know what I'm saying? But it was just more so, you know, trying to get matchup problems, trying to get uh, linebackers on him. And, you know, if you get a linebacker on that young it's man, over. It's, it's trouble. It's over. So, so Kev, listen, Jack Bash, Malik Neighbors. Chris Hilton, Brian Thomas Jr., Kayshawn Booty, Jare Jenkins, and Karan Lacey to transfer. If I'm, if I'm, compete. yeah, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm in that room, if I'm, if I'm in that room as a receiver, 
right? Well, all, I mean, there's nobody in that group I personally would be afraid to throw the ball to. You understand me? No. So, so now, no. I, go ahead, Kel. I say no, not at all. <laughs> right, none of them, none of them. Um, and, oh my. and out of that group, and I know Bootiz, you know, he's back, he coming off of the, 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 the injury and, and, and all that. But my thing is, man, out of, out of the group, who in that group, and I have my idea of who, but who in that group leads that group from you being around that group? Hey, Stu, what you were doing? Who leads right? it? Who leads it, you mean? Yeah. Uh, well, I haven't been there like now. I know when before I left, it was yeah, Jeray yeah. Jenkins. That's what I thought. It was Jeray. That's what I thought. It was Jeray. That's what he I may thought. not be, you know, the, the, the flashiest guy, That's but what I thought. He, under, he understands what's going on and he's 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 a leader. He's been around, so he knows it. Hey Kev, that's what I thought, man. And you know what, bro? Like him coming back is one of the biggest additions and the biggest help for LSU's offense, especially at that position. Because the one thing you see with him, and, and you're right, he's not the flashiest, but that son of a gun run great routes. He's tough right. as he damn nails. Done. You hear me? He's yes. tough as hell, dog. And he's, and not only, you know, you have the guys sometimes that um, they just lead by example, but he not only leads by example, but he's fiery and wiry from what I see and talking to him. You know what I mean? Like he, he, right. he, he understands who he is. And, he under, and, and to me, the other guys respect the shit out of him. Yes. Yes. Yes, indeed. Definitely. Because he, he know he's been around. He's intelligent. He's going to get guys lined up where they need to be because he's played Danny, every position at oh, the receiver. Oh, position. man. See, I ain't know that, Kel. I ain't know that. That yes. makes intelligence. Intelligence. Yes. That's awesome. That's awesome. He uh, Now, let me ask you this because I, I know who I'm thinking. Who you looking? Man, we know Besh. You know what I mean? We know uh, uh, Neighbors. I'm really, hey, I ain't gonna lie to you, dog. I'm really looking for neighbors to stamp this bitch this year, dog. Cause I think, I think if he stays healthy, bro, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Spring Ooh. practice, he was hey, dog, killing. like he was killing. I think killing. he, I think he, um, from what I've seen from him, Kev, since last year, I think he like understand he next up. I don't know, you know what I mean? Like he understand it's my turn. I got to keep stepping. What you think, dog? Say, bro. <laughs> you know, they, we really wasn't recruiting Malik. Yeah. We was recruiting. We was recruiting, but we were recruiting. Right. We was recruiting, but we wasn't recruiting. And eventually, you know, it got a little heat in the room. It was like, look, if y'all want the next Jamar Chase, y'all going to take Malik Mavis. Hey, and dog. that's how I feel about Malik Neighbors. And that's how I feel about Malik Neighbors. He a monster, dog. I mean, dog, I'm looking for him to, if we get steady play from the QB position, I'm right. because I because I think so much attention will be paid to Kayshawn, and right. I think there will be a little more attention paid to uh, Besh a little bit, except for the matchups. But I think that boy gonna get singled up, and I think he gonna torch motherfuckers, dog. I really do, dog. Like, bro. go ahead, Kev. If he wouldn't get hurt last year All in right. camp, he would have been our starter. Oh, I know. He'd be, yeah, he could be one of the starters, bro. Yeah, as yeah. a freshman. Yeah, boy, a monster, dog. Malik Neighbors gonna introduce himself to the SEC this year, baby. I'm telling you, if they don't know, they gonna find out. Cause the boy, a monster for real. But besides him, Kev. Who you see jumping out there being very, very productive and consistent out of the out of the, out of the rest of those groups? Oh, the young boys, Chris Hilton and um Brian Thomas. BJ, yeah, man, they yeah. They, they they showed some flashes. Ooh, yes, they did, boy. During the course of camp, mm. um, Chris is such an intelligent person and and so hard on himself when he doesn't get it, you know, get it right. He yeah. gets down and stuff. So you know that that's, that that comes with maturity. He, he's gonna grow out of that. Correct. But, uh, like I said, this, those two guys show some flashes. Like, all right, now now I see why we got those guys. I see why those guys were on our radar. Well, I'm, I'm gonna tell you this, bro. Like, um, BJ, 
I mean, it's the things that he can do for his size, right. how he plays and, and plays in short spaces and explosion and be able to come out of the thing like he's 5'8 or 5'9 and he's 6'3 or whatever he is. I mean, right. that's the amazing part. And I mean, dude, we haven't even had a chance to see Chris yet because Chris been injured. But I mean, right. let's talk about a, a cat that can take the top off the coverage and go get it. You know and what I mean? He can like, take the top off the cover. He can take the ball off the top of your head. That's what, he can. <laughs> mouth. Hey, Gail. Hey, Gail. He got mossed. <laughs> <laughs> he got mossed. Are you right? You were right. I oh, forgot that boy, a, a record setting high jumper. The boy, yes. did, oh, Lord, he will take that thing off your head. Hey, dude, I am so excited, man, to see them in this offense with them, bro, and, and to see how he unleashes them. And just let them play. And the other thing I like about this group, and you may know this, but I've, you know, I've had the pleasure of seeing them, not most of them all together, you know, working out um, at the indoor and things like that. And man, seems like they genuinely like each other and push each other um, very to be better. They're a very close group. Yeah. Okay. They are a very close group. Okay, okay. I think once you come in, once you come in, you you see that, and that, that you can't you can't break that bond up. That those guys been together. Hey. I love uh so so what's your start info, Kev? What's your start info? Ooh, man, that's a, oh, oh, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> that's a tough one. Now, I know though. I know. I got the list what, right what, in front of me. I'm looking at the shit and I'm like, I know Kayshawn and Malik and Besh. I can't I, I mean, how can I not put those three on the field first? Ja Ray, I got to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I mean, right. I got to put. You see, without seeing, without seeing practice a whole lot, yeah. it's tough to say that. It's tough. And then, you know, you, you never know what coach is thinking. I know, dog. Uh, it's just, but you know what, though? Let me say this. It's great to have this option, though. It's great to have have this Hell this yeah. this this cupboard of, of, of wide receivers, dude, because, I mean, what we looking at and then, you're looking at the future with 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 BJ and, and, and with Brian Thomas, and you look at Besha be back, and then you look at the, the transfer and Malik. So, and we bring in these these other kids, you know, that's around the city, uh, Shelton Sampson from Catholic High, and these other receivers. I mean, dude, the, it, we keep it going in this with the receivers, and with the young quarterbacks that we have coming, with the young running backs that you spoke about earlier. Uh, after we get with him, then we'll be. I, I, I think we're in a good spot, Kev. I think we're in a good spot, dog. I think we're in a good spot with the, with the with the, with the uh, wide receivers going into camp. I think we're in a good spot with 11 days left, man, for these guys to to to. And it, and, and the other thing is, I was reading the thing about Coach Kelly. Coach Kelly looks like he's um, not gonna be pushing pushing them too much. He wants to keep these guys fresh. Uh, going through camp and coming out of camp, I saw a quote where he said, "Guys were tired last year uh, going to camp." So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see with Florida State on the horizon. <laughs> Why you laugh like that, dog? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just laughing, bro, because you know, he hey, he too. has his, he, he has his thing. You know, we have our thing. It, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're just going to see, man. We're going to see uh, if, if um, listen, dog, you know, the thing with this Florida State game, Kev, coming up, here, you know, it's in our backyard. But it's like, you know, it's like two programs, right? And we're not in the same boat as Florida State. Let me say that. Florida State been fucked up for a couple of years now, a few years now. So, I mean, they've been trying to get it right with coaches. Since about, about 2016. 2016, that's a long time. Mm -hmm. They've been trying to Jimbo get Jimbo last year is there. Yeah, since Jimbo left, they just been, I don't know what the hell been going on over there. They brought in tagging. They done brought in all kind of people to try to revamp the program and all kind of shit. So, right, we not there. You know what I'm saying? ain't going to put us there. Uh, but it is, we are a program that just got a new coach. Just got, you know, we, we had a, a little fork in the road, so to speak. And... This game is, you know, it's the first one. It's the introduction to Brian Kelly. So it's very important for both teams in different ways, my dog. Would you say? This is a big game. It's a big game, dog. 
I, I don't care what you say. This is a big game. <laughs> You, you can try to paint that picture all you want. This is a big game. Big game, dog. And I, I know that Florida State has been down, but their defensive line is going to be pretty freaking good. Yeah. That, and it's going to be a test of, of, you know, who we are in this game. It's going to, the first game of the year, because everybody like, oh, Florida State not too good. We, we, we got a new coach. So, we, you know, it's going to be a good game. But LSU gonna pull out. I, I don't know about that. We we gotta we gonna have to play football to win that game. Yeah, and not only that, Kev, you know all the things that come with the first game. All the things that come with the first game when you have a new staff, new everything. It's a lot that comes with the first game. New starters on everywhere, new things all across the board. So listen. All about who handles that shit the best, right? All about who executes early, who gets over the emotions, who gets over all that, and then settle down and do what we always say, my dog. Run, catch, what you tackle. Do what you do. Do what you do. Well, we brought you here. To, but we brought you here to do. That's all you got to do. Do what you do, man. Like you know what I mean. So it's gonna be, and 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 you know, I think a lot of times when we when we talk about um, football. And, and we always talk about the players. We always point to talk about the players. But you got to understand, too, that we have coaches involved in this that have not been here before either, who have not coached at LSU before, who this is their first introduction to LSU Nation and to, to everybody affiliated with the Tigers. So their they, they ass is on the hot seat, too. They're nervous. Their decision-making comes into question. Uh, whether it's a bad play or a good play, whatever it is. So all that comes into play for me with these coaches. You're, 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 we, Kel, you know, we come, we, we up there with Bill, dog. So you already know. Situational football. Football. All day, every day. All day. <laughs> foot, football is situ. Like, I'm like, dog, but you know, Saban and Bill and Jim convinced me that football is warm. Real shit. On. Um, a handful of plays throughout the game. And it's decisions right. on those handful of plays that lets you know what the outcome is going to be. Situational football. How do we handle that, dog? Because that's one of the things I'm paying attention to because we haven't had coaches prior to Brian Kelly, meaning Ed Ogeron, meaning Les Miles, that's ever handled those situations correctly to my satisfaction. And I would think that, that that's a test to a lot of – uh, uh, people around the state that they have not handled situational football the best. So that's definitely something I'm looking forward with, with uh, Brian Kelly and his new staff uh, to see how they're going to handle situational football. Right. I think he handled it well. Um, he seemed like he's the type of coach that, that covers stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, it, 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 it ain't just that. It's getting those kids to understand situational football right as well as the coach you're right so we'll see what happens you're 100 percent correct so sit kev listen man great to have you on my dog you go ahead and enjoy your afternoon of football appreciate you taking the time you already know we talked about dog you, you about to be in this thing come on in here with your boy man no doubt, man. Appreciate y'all, man. I'll let y'all. All right, Kev. Hey, enjoy that, man. Good talking to my yes, dog, Kev. Uh, got his rundown on, on, on the quarterback, on, excuse me, on the, on the running back situation. Uh, you and him was on the same mix, huh, Stu? And I told you, bro. Yeah, you and him with who was it, Josh? Sometimes you just gotta pay attention. You gotta pay that's attention. Like. Hey, that's you Game got me. Details. Yeah, 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 yeah. He did come in and let you know that Josh gonna be in the mix. So I'm definitely gonna be looking for that. And anybody know Kev? No, Kev? No. So anybody know Kev? No. We are gonna look for that. Listen, we'll be back. We are gonna take a little short break, and we are gonna come back. We got hot topics. We got a couple things. We are gonna get right back to it with where my dogs at. Appreciate Kev. That was great. Kev came in and.
Do you suffer from chronic dehydration? Are you looking to improve your athletic performance and you need to get over and see our friends over at GoFlow IV? They're located on Jefferson Highway. Easy to find them online at geauxflowiv.com. Make sure and use the promo code Jordy Colada Show. If you do, they'll take 15% off of your initial visit. Check them out online, geauxflowiv.com. The coach is the most important play in this whole thing with these guys. Because one is new offenses, then guys are younger, guys are coming from different systems, coming from different everywhere. So the one that, that's the other fact that's going to come into this. Whoever picks this shit up the fastest? Whoever picks this it's up the even where, playing field. Yeah, 100%. Even playing field, because you talk about Miles Brennan having experience. He's had, what, four different coordinators in four years? Yeah, but that helps him also. Uh, yeah, because uh, that's <laughs> yeah. just different terminology at that point. I've seen it all. Yeah. Uh, bring back the Joe Brady one. That one worked. That one, that one seemed to work. Yeah, you adapt, man. You adapt. You adapt to it. And and Nussmeyer, by him coming, his dad being a coach and coming from um, that pedigree and that background, this is also something that he should be comfortable with. I know he's young, but learning different terminology, um, concepts are basically the same. It's you just know, different verbiage. Curl flat is curl flat. Goals is goals, you know what I mean? It's just different terminology. So that type of thing for them should get picked up pretty easily um, from Nuss, Meyer, from all those guys. All those guys are smart guys. Miles, all those guys, they should pick that up pretty, pretty swiftly. But Nuss, Meyer's advantage in this whole thing is, I mean, without a doubt, his legs, without a doubt, his confidence. You know, without a doubt, his ability. And he actually reads defenses pretty good right now for the stage that he is in in his young, young, young career. He picks up defenses and goes to the right part, right place with the ball pretty good. His problem is getting them feet in line all the time or going there because he's so athletic. You know what I mean? So sometimes he just relies strictly on that quick twitch and getting that ball out. But he has to get his feet lined up. And also with him, he has to work on that accuracy, accuracy as well. So, see, if, 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 if he's going to come out and do that every time, well, now, and now come back and backtrack and try to call Jimbo, you know, that I talked to Jimbo personally about this, and their friendship was a friendship that was more uh, professional, yeah, you know what I mean, professional, uh, not we're going to spend time in the off season and with our families and all that bullshit, it was... You know, very professional. You coach for me. We learn from each other. That type of thing. We know each other's bullshit also. I know your bullshit. You know mine. So why would you bring that up? You know what I mean? Why would you open up that can when now they're going to dig into your shit? So now they're going to dig into all the bullshit. Guys could come out that's disgruntled with you. Could come out and say all kind of bullshit. Guys that you just offered that bag to that didn't take it and went somewhere else and took the other bag. Now they could come out and say, you know what I mean? It's just all that shit. So why not keep it? Keep, keep, keep all that in house. And Coaches chimed in on that. Uh, Lane Kiffin chimed in too. Lane Kiffin was like, his, <laughs> Lane Kiffin said his mouth was still wide open. It was seven o'clock and he's still looking at the, tele <laughs> at the television. And the press conference was at damn one o'clock in the afternoon. You know what I mean? So I, all those coaches chimed in because they were surprised at what happened with Coach Saban saying that. Because if you think about Coach Saban, everything that he does is very calculated. And it's, and it's, and it's to move the needle in his direction and his favor. So I don't know if what his motive was. I would love for him to let us know what that was or to come out so we can find out. I don't know what his motive was. But, his mo but it, whatever his motive was, it was definitely something that he planned, in my opinion, just from playing for him and, uh, and knowing him as a, as a per as, you know, friends. Oh, we're back. Hey, so we just had Kev on here, and I, I just want to reiterate this thing again with these receivers. Jack Bess, Malik Neighbors, Chris Hilton, Brian Thomas Jr., Kayshawn Bouti, Jare Jenkins, Corinne Lacey, the transfer from, uh, where he came from, ULF? ULF. 
you at? So all of those guys are returning, competing for um, playing time. Out of those kind, what are what are what? Who do we have, OP? Who do we have coming back? As far what, what did they do last year? What's the stats for the returning guys coming back last year? So I can see what we got. So we got Kayshawn, Jerry Jenkins, Jack Bench, uh, Malik Neighbors, Brian Thomas Jr., and Chris Hilton. They're all returning. Uh, Kayshawn, of course, and this is really impressive to me. Yet he only played in six games, had thirty-eight catches, five hundred yards, and nine touchdowns in six games. Jer- That's that, and that was before he tore his ACL. Yeah, that was before he broke his ankle and stuff. Uh, Jack played in 12 games, mm-hmm. 43 catches, 489 yards, and only three touchdowns. But like we say, you know, they had him at tight end and all that. Right, like, right. And Malik played in 11 games, 28 catches, 417 yards, and four touchdowns. But Malik averaged 14.9 yards a catch, though. Uh, uh, That's crazy. They had to be tops in the SEC. Yeah. That's crazy. And uh, Brian Thomas, he had eleven. Ki- he played in eleven games, twenty eight catches, uh, three hundred fifty nine yards, but only two touchdowns. Yeah. And Chris Hilton, uh, he got hurt, so he doesn't have like as many stats. But he played in three games, only had two catches, but he had eighty one yards and he averaged forty yards a catch. So this is crazy. So and we're gonna get off of that and go to hot topics here in a second. But that's I, I wanted to get that dog because. I remember going to the game, seeing all them guys playing, catching balls, but and I knew we had some shit coming back, right? Some yeah. some some real guys, especially with Chris not having an opportunity to play last year, Kayshawn getting injured, you know what I mean? So now I'm just, you know, I'm with Brian Kelly trying to keep these guys healthy to see them all at the, on the field at the same time. Because, yeah. I mean, dog, if I'm the receiver – I want to be able to pick to see who I throw to out of them four out yeah. there, however you put them out there. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not going to have a problem throwing to anybody. I'm not going to have a problem throwing to Malik Neighbors, Besh, Boutique, none of them. You know what I mean? So, that's that's what? That's almost 1,400 yards coming back out the receiving core. And two of them guys was injured. It was injured. And then you got a Bolitnikov candidate off top in Kayshawn coming back so he's going to demand a lot of attention yeah you know what i mean cover two is going to be <laughs> cover five yeah, is going to be his best friend with have two some safeties, safeties on the field two safeties back and man underneath um i'm i am very much looking forward to seeing those guys and seeing how dem brock and sloan get these guys moving and get them open um appreciate that op great job with the stats right there my dude um, what we got in Hot Topics coming? We got Hot Topics coming up, man, with a plethora of things, especially from the sports world. We got doggone uh, SEC Media Day. We got all kinds of things Southern going on. Southern LSU, people going crazy. Hey, look. I got that first. People going, they losing, bro. When <laughs> I say they losing their minds they right losing now it. about them tickets. SU, LSU. They ain't getting them tickets, so, you know, you, you get your ticket, you got to get in where you fit in. Well, we was <laughs> you know talking about that earlier and, like, so what's the question on it? What the hot topic is on it? What a ticket saddle or, or just a game in general? You know what I'm saying? Basically, like, they were My talking about how... Um, mama. What is it? They were saying that, like, the LSU, um, like, ticket holders were kind of, mm-hmm. like, screwing over the Southern students. They got them sitting in the nosebleeds. But really, the way they distributed their tickets, they had the 400s, like, where they sit kind of, like, in the end zone by the band. They had that for the band. They had that for the alumni and the uh, season ticket holders. Southern. And they had that for the season ticket holders, and they had it for the alumni. And then the rest goes to the general public if they still had any in the 400s and in the 600s. But the students were mad because they were like, we're not going to pay $50 to sit all the way to the top of the stadium. But it's like that's kind of Southern's fault how they decided to do that. But me, I'm going to make sure whoever is paying me every year in season tickets is going to get a good seat. So the bet, so the good seats went to the season ticket holders in the band, in the band, and mm-hmm. okay. the alumni. Man, listen, man. Let me say this: is whenever we go to stadiums, like whenever we go to away stadium, not me, cause you know, I'm different. But whenever season, whenever you go to away stadiums, they always give you the worst seats. They always give you. I don't know what the they expect. That, I think they were um, mad. They always give you the seats that. Nobody won't. Yeah, they always get the worst seats. They get the things at the top of the stadium and all that and all that. So, but I mean, I saw that. I mean, tickets for that game is sold out. Right. Like tickets for that game is sold out. So if tickets for the game is sold out, I mean, hell, 
got to be something good going on about it. You know what I mean? So if if it just if it's just listen, I think this is a game that should they should have been happening. I think this yeah. is a game OP that should have been 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 happened for the community. For I think they should play Grambling too. Play Grambling next, and then play somebody else next, and then keep the money and stay to keep giving it to the HBCUs. I'm with that. I think they were just more mad at the fact that they were thinking that LSU had more to do with the um the, the tickets, tickets, but they really didn't, and they were kind of saying like, you know, what who they dispersed the tickets? Southern. That basically LSU, I guess, gave them areas to work with and what they can do with it. I understand, but I understand why they did that because the band's going to sit down low. The um, I mean, alumni's going to sit listen, down low. You got to get the SU band. Right. Great you <laughs> what you talking you about? Like, listen, LSU people come in and hear SU band. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they got that. They, that's what they come in and hear. You better, listen, you better, right? They want the band to have good seats. The band need to have good seats. And if whoever put the money into it, I mean, that's just what, that's just the way it go, man. It's the same thing at LSU. Whoever putting the money into it is the one that they're giving it all to. So, you know, that's just the way it go. That's the way right. it go. I think it's more important to try to keep, don't worry about that. Try to come up with a way to keep it going. Come up with a way to keep that going. Keep, keep, keep it positive. Keep it to where this thing is going once a year and it's something that continues on, continues on and it continues to feed money and give money to that university that's right down the street from us and it may help them out that move and give it to somebody that help them out. That's all it's about. I mean, let's not get into like, you know what I mean? Like I, the, the sitting thing, that's, I mean, that's the, I have a ticket, tickets always pass down, but listen, tickets always pass down that way. You always give the opposite opposing team the worst tickets why would they get the best seats that's just what that's what it is every time i've ever but they were mad about it my because family technically it's a home game like to them they think it's who? a home game for southern it's yeah, like it's in VR, but i don't know why it's they, they think that it's still in a way game it's a way game anytime listen i play that other shoot anytime i've ever given my family tickets to away games florida mississippi state wherever it's been that's it's always like, it's always been terrible safe the clippers played unless somebody looked out for me the tickets have always been terrible. They've been in those. My mama done told me plenty of time, don't give me them tickets no more for coming to no Florida. I'm sitting way at the top. I got to use binoculars to see. To like see if the me. Lakers and the Clippers you know I mean? played. That's right. like, the, like you're not at home. It's still an away game. Yeah, and Shaq even said something about that. Like, you know, yeah, y'all play at this stadium too or play in this city too, but this our stuff. Like, right. this our banners, this our, like, it's a home game. Right, right, right. So, I mean, I, I ain't worried about that. I just... Hope that they continue that thing going, bro, so we can have it every year. And yeah, it's a, I mean, it's a good thing. Them boys right down the street from us, and it creates a lot of buzz in the city, man. I hear it's all over the radio. It's everywhere. So it's cool. I think it's a cool thing as long as we handle it the right way, keep pushing that thing so something can be in that thing every year, every year. You know how many, these, you know how many kids, bro, I, I, I come through our organization. Shout out to F3, my dog, Ken Enio. Uh, you know how many kids come through that we've talked to that, like, ain't never been in Tiger Stadium? But like mm-hmm. live around the corner or live down the street, you know what I mean. So for these guys to have an opportunity to come in there and see their brothers play, to see they, you know, whoever cousins play in there that go to Southern University, like it's so much bigger than that. It's so much bigger than you know the surface. It's huge, man. It's huge for these families, for these kids that grew up in a city that came to these camps, but LSU didn't recruit them, and you know things of that nature. So you know I, I want to keep this to where the the is really a light on. Um, the kids that get an opportunity to come in there and the families get an opportunity to see them see these guys play on this stage and, and to salute them so I hope they continue I hope the university continue I hope they find a way to continue it going I hope it is good for the community and good for Baton Rouge and the surrounding area I just I think it's po- it's a positive thing what we got in next hot topics Tyron Matthew. Um, the Badger, was, baby. Yeah, he was named like one of the top 10 safeties, but he was number one. Top, top one? Ten, top 10 safeties. In Madden. I mean, he was, in Madden. Oh, man, football? Mm-hmm. I thought y'all were talking about some sports. But he is, he is like pretty that. much the top safety in yeah. the league, I, I would say. You think he's the top, like numero uno? Mm-hmm. Top safety. I don't think there's many safeties that do what he does. He's, I mean, instinctively, the boy's a damn monster. I'm saying you understand me like instinctively he is absolutely a monster and he said it. who 
He, he hasn't missed a game in like three seasons. Now nah, the boy monster man, listen to me. I take my hat off to the Badger every time, dog. Uh, no, excuse me. I've been a fan of the Honey Badger, Teron Matthews, since I've seen him play in high school. Right, and it's something to be said. You ever heard T? You ever heard Ti verse when he say five nine with the soul of a six four? That's that's what I think about when I think about the Honey Badger. Like his heart, dude. You know, you can't never what's inside a man's chest, and with him, you see it every single play. And I think I, I I would agree with him. That's one of that to me is what separates him from the rest. Now I can say when um Earl Thomas, yeah. when Earl Thomas was at his um, you know, Pete, yeah. Legion of Boom, yeah. I he compared them. Yeah. You know what I mean? I compared them because Earl Thomas had exceptional instincts yeah. himself. That, that's how he said he got the Jordan deal. <laughs> For real, he said he used it. He was like, man, I, he said, I'm, I'm looking at E.T. playing in the J. Right. I'm like, shit, I'm better than E.T. Like, I'm going to be real with myself. I'm better than E.T. He said he called his people up and he was like, man, get me in touch with the Jordan people. Like, I need the J's on my feet. Because I'm better than him. And, and got the deal. Hey, whatever works for you, dude. I mean, he was right. He was right. And then he's still going. You know what I mean? He's still going. Ah. So you say he number one in the game? I'm giving him one yeah, in the I, game. Yeah, he definitely number one. Like, pull out some safety stats, no, OP. Pull out some stats. That's just what I was about I to got. say. Like, pull it out in here. And, like, the top ten safeties for Madden is Tyron, Derwin James, Buda Baker, Kevin Bayard, Micah Hyde, Justin Simmons, Jesse Bates, Jordan Pryor, and Harrison Smith, and Jamal Adams. He number ten. Hey, who was the second one you said? Derwin James. He got hurt last year? Yeah. Uh-huh. He always hurt. That's why, like, he never – that's why the Chargers Ooh. always never – Hey, uh, that's true. Like, they defense always get hurt. Nah, that's true. Time. Derwin James is a freak of nature. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just always hurt. He's uh, That's because he's a freak of nature. Florida true. State. Don't For Florida real, State dog. Be cold. Think about, like, Palomalu. Yeah. Troy Palomalu, when he was in uh, Pittsburgh with, with Ryan Clark, them, and, 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 and them boy. Palomaro was a freak of nature. Yeah. Though. You know what I mean? And that's like that's how those guys that like have this rare athletic ability, like those guys, I mean, could contort their bodies in ways that we can't imagine, Stu. You and then you may think you still uh, can. But know you know I what can. I'm saying? I'm too old for but like those guys that could do that, the Terran Matthews of the yeah. world, these guys, like, that's unimaginable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I ain't gonna lie though, dog. Um mm. Cause I, I'm a Derwin James fan, dog. But you're right, OP. If I gotta go off of consistency and being there, gotta go at the Badger, dog. Gotta Derwin go never, at the Badger, dog. Derwin never played in the playoffs. I know, but Derwin James Wait, didn't go. Now he, he got hurt. He never oh, played. He was man. always hurt. Yeah, or when he got they hurt. did make it, they just wasn't good. Uh-huh. He got hurt. Hey, monster, though. I know. And right? They got a good squad. And, yeah. and, and, but it, uh, but but it's like he said, it's, 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 it's San Diego. No, it's LA. LA now. Oh, yeah, LA now. That's yeah. right. <laughs> LA Chargers that now. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. And it's always one, it's always somebody on that defense, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's always somebody on that Is defense. Is he the Bosa? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly right. Who would be something else if you could get all of them on the same team, on the same level playing at? Mm-hmm. And they got Asante Samuel Jr. Hey, you know, I played with his daddy, Zant. Yeah. That was my dog. You know, he's from Fort Lauderdale. He's from, he from the crib. Oh, yeah, Asante he, Samuel. He, he said uh, the only reason Bill Belichick won was because of TV. Hey, hey, Zant was a, was a fantastic. That was my dog. Now, he was a great football player. And his son, his son in that same mold, dog. His son in that same mold. Zant was a good football player, man. He, he, hey, he came and locked that shit down when he was in New England. I ain't going to lie. He locked that shit down. Him and Ty Law. <laughs> he was real good, boy. That boy was real good. I'm anxious to see how his son do out there. But they already got him rated high. Already. He real deal, though. He real deal. We're going to see what happened there. I'm, I'm excited to see what New Orleans defense looked like, dog. Yeah. Like, for real. For real. Can you, like, you just put the badger on there. 
with the D line was already nice. D line was the strong suit. D line was already nice, right? D line, great linebacker play. Demario Davis. Demario Davis. Uh, Lattimore cornerback. Then you bring the honey badger over there. And Marcus May at free safety. They about to be. About to all be you different. need, like all you need out the Saints. Like this not I don't consider this that rebuilding year for the oh, Saints. No, no, this mm-hmm. this all this in. ain't no rebuild. This all in. So all you need is consistent play from the quarterback position, Stu. Consistent play from the quarterback position, and then the defense. Because the defense gonna keep you in game. Yeah, yeah, that's what they did all right last all year. last year. The defense keep you in game. even when you had damn uh, Trevor what's, Simeon. What's the other boy name? The, the, him. Yeah. Even when they had Taysom him in there the whole time. He got a six and six and two record as a starting quarterback because the defense won him all them games. But you know he he didn't turn it over. He got the first downs with his leg, mm-hmm. ran through people. I mean, QB listen, power. man, Taysom Hill played efficient. I ain't yeah. even, you know I don't think he's <laughs> go past that. But he is did what he needed to do last year, keep them in it. And uh, dog, that just lets you know though that with the Saints, dog, they went through so much last year and was still in it. Yeah, mm-hmm. they had right? the hurricane. So just imagine you get an opportunity to. Steady the quarterback position. You done brought in a Badger. You done brought in a dog Jarvis Landry. Had the position. The, the, the wide receiver room over there is crazy yeah. too. Chris Olave out of Ohio State. The wide out. receiver room for the Saints is bananas too. We talk about LSU boy. The the the, the Saints is bananas too. Yeah. Like I would love to be the quarterback at that position as well, mm-hmm. dog. That they gonna be tossing it around. I mean Jarvis. You, I mean dude. You add a Jay Landry. You add juice to the mix. You know what I'm saying? With everything else, you bring him back. Like you pointed out, Alave. You bring Alave in. Michael Thomas coming back. Dude. It's not a re- let me Let me say this. The Saints will be in the mix simply because of their defense. The a- and then, you know, the other thing about it, Stu, we always talk about is, you know, you got to have swag. Mm-hmm. They Color rush. They got it. They got it everywhere. Camaro. <sighs> I ain't even talk about that monster. <laughs> we ain't even talk about that monster. That's because he plays so chill. You don't even think about exactly. it. Exactly. Man like... play with a QC chain. Where, where you at? Where his cut on? Man play with the QC chain and everything. Uh-uh. Over, over here. There. Yeah. We ain't even talk about that monster over there. But man, looking the Saints is 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 is, is going to be all right. It's, you know what it is though. Like anything else, when you when you got a team like the Saints, um, you got all the pieces and you have. Um, um, you know, especially at the quarterback position where you have a new guy coming in, running the hand, you have uh, new new faces just at the leadership position, similar yeah. to LSU. Mm-hmm. You got to get off to a fast start. Yeah, yeah. You got to get off to a fast start just for confidence alone. You know what I mean? That's especially a case with LSU. Like, we got to get off to a fast start against Florida State. We can't have, like, no damn, you know, you miss. can't be UCLA again. It can't be that. It can't. We can't go back to that. That just that same mode of like we not playing hard. We got we got people out there walking off the field. Like oh, we gonna dudes, figure this out. For right, dudes half. pointing at each other after they score a touchdown. Like we don't need that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like that's not man, what we, we need that, to go that, back that to. What we, we here for that. right. Get, get what, what we need for. and get out of New Orleans with a win and start the season off right. Go. Run over Southern, you know, do that, do that mm-hmm. little thing, and then you know we we, we get, get rolling, rolling and yeah. get a get a rhythm going. Get a good taste in your mouth. Yeah, cause get a good taste in your mouth. L.A. wasn't a good taste. That was like brutal. <laughs> you went out there. It was. Went brutal. Out there. You went out there. I was, I was out, out there. there too. You went out there in the stadium, bro. I'm I'm just like this ain't this ain't LSU for sure. I was on the field, man. That stuff was so crazy. They started dropping confetti and everything. <laughs> like, they, bro, you look. I swear, after the game, you would have swore UCLA won the Natty. Oh God, dog. I'm talking about the. They had the the confetti, the music, fireworks. confetti, fireworks. I'm everything. like, bro, these dudes just this. This is week two. This like, week one for it us. It was really some Cali stuff for real. Yeah, like, like they had a party after that oh game, God. and then they lost to Fresno State. I saw that. Like, come on, dog. Like I that's how that. I knew we wouldn't. We weren't vibing how we were supposed to. Right, right, right. Because you go out there and they beat you and then they go out there and stank it up the next week yeah. to them. Yeah, that was a bit lost. But we'll be, we're going to do it. What we got next, Dave? Um, Kirby Smart got a new contract, 10-year, 
112.5 million Woo! contract. Goodness gracious! Which makes him the highest paid coach in college football. And I, not yeah, for long. Uh, Nick, Nick said he's gonna sign a new Nick contract. Not for long. Dollar. He got a dollar. Yeah, yeah. He always got to get a dollar raise. Not for long. <laughs> not for long. Kirby good with that though. But damn, how many years that was? Ten. But you know he said he wanted to retire the other day. Who? Kirby. Kirby. Retire from At what? At the SEC media days, he said he was he was close to retiring, bro. He pulled an AD. That what he was doing. He was acting like Aaron Donald. He heard. Hey, it. He heard Aaron he Donald. Them boys do that. You see how much money they got. I'm he told him to he go. He told him I'm gonna retire. So they put that check up. Yeah, yeah too. Please don't go. Please don't go, Kurt. <laughs> we need you, boy. So they gave him ten years, a hundred and ten, hundred what? One hundred twelve point five million. Ooh, ooh. After one natty. One. But I mean, you know what, man? Listen, the way the way college football is going, the way the amount of money that's being pushed through this motherfucker—that's what you're gonna see. That's what you're gonna see. I mean, when you when when you're able to pay when you're not able to pay kids millions of dollars, and not the money is coming out the way it works from these corporations and the the it's just a it's a business, dude. And to see Kirby go up that big and get that money that big, my goodness gracious, I'm in the wrong business. I am in the wrong business with Kirby getting that 113 million. And you know, I don't. Is it deserving? I mean, I guess I mean he recruited at a high level. Yeah, and I mean he has been in the national championship what 2018, runner ups, and then he was champion this year. So I I guess you could kind of say like. Because that 2018 season wasn't that his first season at Georgia? Yeah. So, I mean, he went in his first season, lost yeah. it, and he'd been in the SEC championship every year almost since then. And he did that and with I, Jake Fromm and Stetson Bennett at quarterback. Exactly. Yeah, that's and he a very was, good point. He was really close in 2019, too, to, to being in the championship, to being in the – at least in the playoff. They would they don't lose to LSU, they get in the playoff. And he just beat Nick. And he just beat Nick. And so, he just beat Nick, dog. He just beat Nick, so – you know, hats off to Kirby, dog. Shout out to Kirby, man. Good for him. Uh, let's see if that pressure on his ass now. Let's see if he going to fold because oh, yeah. he got that bread, you know, going mm-hmm. forward. Because, listen. They usually go ugly after they get the usually money. Usually go ugly after, dog. And he just got that natty. Now he got that bread. He stamped. Let's see if Kirk, Kirk, don't stay complacent, my dog. Stay hungry. Let's see. Because, you know, the one thing with Coach Saban is Saban always stay hungry. So let's see if it done rubbed off on Kirby. I think it's done rubbed off on Kirby, yeah. dog. Because you're right. Kirby recruit great. Goodness Relentless. Great. Kirby go get him. He recruits great. He was a great recruiter when he was at Bama. He's a great recruiter now at uh, the University of Georgia. Um, we've seen that year in and year out. He's been one, two, three, one, two, three, one, one, mostly one and two. Um, Kirby does a great job. He, he, I'm with you. I think he deserved that money. I think, you know. Anytime you can bring that much prestige, because now people are talking about Georgia. Mm. Nobody wants to talk about Georgia like that before. Nah, you Georgia know? was like little brother in the SEC. Yeah, yeah. And, and Kirby bought that swag over there a little bit, bought them players over there, them recruits. Mm. So you know, that's all the Kirby. Kirby deserve that money, man. I, anybody got to deal with all that bullshit in college football and all that? Kirby deserve that money. And now let's see how he does going forward. Because though, when you're in that position, it's easy to get to the top, Stu. Yeah, but once you get to the top, it's you looking like, down. You <laughs> looking down. Everybody trying to get you. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see. What else we got, Jay? Staying on that money topic, Kyler Murray. Oh, I saw his. Two hundred thirty point five million for a five year extension. One hundred sixty one guaranteed. That's enough for me. That's great, man. Look. Right, you could take the one off, and that's enough for me. Sixteen million enough for me. Sixteen million enough for me. That's what I'm saying. You that's take that and that one makes off. him the uh, highest. You think he paid deserve it? It makes yeah. him the highest paid quarterback. I don't See, think he's the best he kinda, quarterback. Uh, he kind of put himself. He kind of played that right. You know he what I'm did. saying? Like the way he did. He unfollowed him on social media during the Pro Bowl. He, he unfollowed the Cardinals. He unfollowed the Cardinals. <laughs> deleted all his pictures with the Cardinals and everything. Dude was just acting. That's what the people he told won. him to do, though. Yeah, he that's what I know. He won, though. He, he won, won. The, the the situation. But I mean, I don't really think. I wouldn't say he deserved it because they didn't win. What, what have they? What have the Cardinals won since he's been the quarterback at? Kyler Murray, twenty-four years old. They won zero playoff games and two appearances. Kyler Murray, twenty-four years old, signed the supermax basically. Yep. 
I don't think he's the best quarterback though. For he's not nah. even the best in his division. Well, you know, your your deal doesn't say you're the best. It gives you its potential. Mm-hmm. His deal is strictly on potential for the age he is, the experience he has already in the NFL with three years. Yeah, wait, he has, he has three year experience already. But it includes 160, 160 million guaranteed. guaranteed for injury, and then he'll also make one hundred five million fully guaranteed upon signing the deal. So he's really making a little bit more, more than, oh, yeah, than, what agents, than what he signed for. His agents was on that. Yeah. He making more than what he technically his signed for. His agents did that. Now, say that again. It's it a, includes $160 million guaranteed for injury, and then he'll also make $105 million fully guaranteed upon signing the deal. So you're looking at 200 and 265 Yeah. Million. And that's without including no, endorsements. I don't think that's what that means. I don't yeah, think so I think, either. I think, that's not what that means. I think the, that's not. It's yeah. the injury and all. It's it's like it's, when, it's that's not what it means. It's the it's the once they take it's that. The it's the one sixty. Yeah. I think yeah. once they the take that out the of one hundred five is what's fully, and then the rest of it. I don't know what how it's compensated or how it's going mm-hmm. based on injury, whatever. But it's not two sixty. It's the it's more close to the one sixty. It don't damn matter though. I was about to it say. don't matter, dog. You know what I mean? It don't matter. Shout out to Kyler Murray, man. Good for you getting your money, man. Shout out to Kyler Murray. Twenty four. Get your money, dog. Like. And the one thing I know is you're in a fan, friend, you're in a, a, a quarterback friendly offense with my dog Cliff Kingsbury. Cliff Kingsbury uh, was out there in New England when we played with him. Cliff is going to make sure that that ball stays flying all over the place and that Kyler is moving the pocket. Kyler, what I move, mean by that, he's not just dropping straight back. He's rolling the pocket, getting him out of situations and giving him an opportunity to throw the ball from different launch, point, launch points so the defense doesn't get a bead on where he's going to be. So. Shout out to Kyler Murray for getting his money. And I think Kyler Murray only has a, a huge upside. You know what I mean? I think that it was a lot of shit coming in with him about his size and all that. Would he be able to do the same thing he did at, uh, in college? And I think he showed that. Uh, and I think that's why they gave him that money. And the other thing with his man damn shit. Who else you going to pay to go in there in Arizona right now and leave that off? Exactly. And that's, that's, that's been the biggest thing. Like, a lot of people have been saying why he shouldn't get paid. Like, who else he was going to give it to? Like they, name one, they had the number one pick to get Kyler. So. Right, yeah. and and the thing is, I mean, dude, motherfucker pl- been playing football. Yeah, it yeah. ain't like he he's he sucked. Athlete. He athlete for real. Yeah, he's a super athlete. He, I mean, he got drafted in uh, MLB too. Baseball. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's a super. He was a super. first round pick in baseball and football. Man, that boy turned that money down, he, man. He said, I don't play he said, I don't need that money, but he got it. Yeah, he got it all back. He done hit, he done hit the mean, lick. He, his Nike deal probably covering that. Man, yeah. that's what I'm saying, dog. Like, you know. I wish I was him. Better, and you know, the more to the rule is, everybody out there looking, bet on yourself, dog. Put that bread on yourself. Bet on yourself. Put it on yourself. Bet on yourself, just like Kyler Murray did, and look at the end result, what happens to him. And stay I would play baseball. At it. Yeah. It take is it, it takes longer to get to the uh, pros in baseball. And then you can only there's a lot of stages. Mm-hmm. Oh, yep. Triple A, double no A, all that bullshit. Uh, like, like, the, a, like the Juan Soto situation. You heard about the baseball player? He, he turned down 14 years, 550 million from the uh, Washington what? Nationals. He offered him 14 years, 550 million. I Juan, wouldn't have turned down Juan national. Soto, but. The reason he turned it down is because the Nationals aren't a good organization. Like, they don't win. I don't care. So, it's like you locked in for 14 years with this one team, and he's 22 years old. 360 deal for real. That's a, three t- that's a 360 deal to me. But for $550 but, million, but that's I'm not be, taking no, that. But you're wasting your whole prime not taking that. on a team that you won't win with. Okay. Because somebody else going to give me the money. Exactly. That's the other thing. I'm not going to take that. Somebody else going to give me the money where I'm going to be much happier. If, he, if they offering me – that somebody that's gonna you know, I don't, and then it don't even care if it's like years less or millions less. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I'm gonna go. It's almost like, do you want the money or do you want the peace? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna take the peace, dog. For I fuck, I will take a couple hundred millions less. I take a half. Give me the cut peace. It in I'm half. straight. Cut it in I half. don't. I don't need all that. I take seven years. Look, I'm straight. I don't need all that. Well, I don't 550 need five. million. Seven, seven years, two hundred and fifty million is I'll still take a lot that. of money. I take that and That's be still, at peace. Exactly. I'm taking that. But five hundred and fifty. He's twenty two. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be at peace, working hard to get to it. Damn that. Damn that. You're nah, gonna be miserable. You're gonna be like Mike day. Trout. 
I ain't going to miss Rule 550 million. You're going to be like Mike Trout in, in Five, uh, Anaheim, and they suck. That's a great example. Million? And you don't hear nothing from Mike Trout. I want you to hear I me. Know, 550 know. But, million. I'm at peace. I understand that. I'm at peace too because you got financial stability to do whatever you want. But it's like 500 and five, 14 years in you Washington. You can't really be great though. In, the, in, the, in that environment, you would just be like miserable every year. It's I wouldn't like, be. We got a losing record. We suck. I got to play 162 <laughs> games with this sorry ass team. But I'm making 500. And that's cool. Million. But you're still playing. You're still a competitor at the end of the day. That's so when you point. when you compete and the thing and is you want to win, you gonna want to win. That is true. And I then get, the thing I get is both your sides. legacy fucked up in that situation, exactly. though. Like you not your legacy is all fucked up. You're on a sorry ass scene. You're never being thought of for anything. You're always being thought of as losing. No matter what stats you put up, you still suck. You know what I mean? Nobody gets into the damn game for that. I don't care how much money you make. Because after a while, the money's insufficient. You got money. Now you want to leave a mark. You want to be regarded as one of the greats. You want to be considered one of the greats. You want to, because you don't play the game to accumulate money. Right. I mean, I guess some people may. You play the game to make sure your family's okay. And once they're okay, like you want to fucking put it down. You want to put that shit down and, let, and, and people talk about you for years and decades and for the rest of your life for the, de- the rest of the time everybody talk about quarterbacks and talk about this i want my name to brought up like that's why you play the game that money shit come with it you know what i'm saying so i can understand like you jay saying yeah i take the five but i definitely could understand stewie saying you know i want that damn peace of mind and also have an opportunity to be fucking great right you know what I'm saying? But I, I won't be great, dog. Like, I'm not about to fool with no damn Anaheim Angels and y'all ain't putting nothing together and y'all coaches suck and this suck, but y'all want to give me five something because y'all want to brand me. You want to make your money off of me through this and that because you know we suck, so we ain't going to go nowhere. Yeah. So, what, you know what? Let's pay the, the best player the most amount of money and run the hell out of them through advertisements and key and shit and all the shit that bring people to the ballpark. Nah, damn that. Give me that 220 let me have a little piece of mind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What else we got? They were on Twitter mad at Kylie Jenner because she got like a private jet, I think, and she took like a three-minute plane ride in her jet, and people were mad at her about that. What? If I had a private jet, I'd do the same thing. What happened? People just... were mad at her because she took like a three – I guess wherever she was going was only three minutes on the jet, and she took a jet But to... it was a 30-minute car ride, so – she she, I mean, she saved us up like 30 you. minutes here. Look, I'm going to be real. If I had the bread, I'm doing it. Be mad at me all you want. I got the money. You don't. So. <laughs> hold on. So. It sound like hating to me. Hold on. So. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, how, how can they be mad at somebody for having money? That's like. So she has somewhere to go. Right. And it took 30 minutes in the car. So instead of going 30 minutes, instead of driving 30 minutes in the car to where she had to go, she jumped on the jet and flew three minutes, mm-hmm. landed, got off, and went and do a thing. to the thing. Yeah. And what's the problem? People mad because they Hating because they broke. Broken yeah. hating. Uh, what was the uh, claim? What the? Uh, envir- something going on with the environment. Uh, climate Please. change. Climate change. That's what that's what people c- crying about because the jet pollutes the air. You know, you got all three that. minutes like but, just chill, yeah, take your car ride. Yeah. Well, it, it would have been a thirty minute car ride. Right, I understand. That's more pollution. That's that's what I'm saying. Have you ever been to LA? Y'all ever been to LA? LA fucked up. They got a damn. They got a damn cloud. A damn small cloud that's ten feet high over the city. So t- crying about pollution in LA, they should have been done with that. 10 mm. years ago, 15 years ago, because it's been there. So, but you them know being what, mad though, about dog, that. Like, There's too I many mean, rich people in L.A. doing yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I'm like, saying. God people bless been the out dead. there doing it. God bless the dead. Look how Kobe took off on the chopper. You know what I'm saying? To go to a game, the more convenient. Beat the traffic. To beat the traffic. L.A. traffic is fucking terrible. That's what I'm Oh, my like God. Like, ridiculous. Awful. Oh, it, it, it my God. It's bad, but L.A. Hey, is like if different. I had a chopper, I'd jump in that thing. <laughs> Man, look. Every look, chance I LA, get. L.A. LA traffic is bad, that mug up, and we, we going wherever we got to go because I ain't this driving. At all. Yeah, so they mad at her because they were saying she polluting the air and all that. I don't think she's polluting air. Listen, listen, man. You know, uh, environmentalist. You, listen, man. It's L.A. She's not the only one that do that. All them, all the 
rich and fabulous if you want to call them or got that bread they do it i mean it's la dog like it's a flex it's all good i mean listen if they was concerned about the environment in la like you just pointed out Stu, they would not have all that bullshit going on out there now if she you know you would like them to be conscious of it and be like you know but i don't think who it is kylie jenner kendall oh, jenner who else? Kylie. Yeah. I don't they, think they Kylie's like, you know what? Let me consider the environment before I have to go in this LA traffic. You know what I mean? Like she's thinking like, I got this bread, I got this jet too. You know, I can save myself a whole, some time. So let me just go ahead and jump in my jet. Ah, you know, I ain't but she mad would have been wrong. She called everybody broke. Like, broke. I <laughs> I'm not mad at her for doing it. I will. I honestly, I like her to consider the environment a little bit more. But I ain't tripping. She mm-hmm. want to jump in her, her jet and get picked up and go to her event. It's all good with me, though. I ain't hating on Kylie Jenner. What else we got? They're also mad at her sister Kim Kardashian right now because she had tweeted. You know, Kim Kardashian's a lawyer, and she tweeted um, free, free Gunna, Gunna, but she didn't tweet Free Young Thug as well, and they're upset about that. Is she a lawyer? She a lawyer, mm-hmm. bro. You know her really dad was sc- a lawyer. She went to school, bro. You know yeah, she was OJ. You know her dad, Rob, was uh, OJ's lawyer. Yeah, I know her dad was OJ's lawyer. But she a lawyer? Yeah. I know she was fighting for a lot of things. She mm-hmm. was getting these boys out of jail. She helped get Kodak out, too. She's trying to get C-Murda out. So so what she did, what? She tweeted what? Free Gunner. Free Gunner. Free Gunner, and they mad because she ain't tweet what? Free, Free Young thug. thug. Free Thug. Who mad? Who Every, is the, when y'all say yeah. we, who is we? Everybody on Twitter. I, 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 the me, people yeah. on Twitter. The, the, oh, okay, the NPCs. Okay. The who? <laughs> the NPCs. What they, what that mean? The non-playable characters. Like, they just okay. be having opinions. Just with opinions. Like, with no and substance. everybody's just coming on. No substance. So, they mad because she, maybe she don't agree with what with, 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 with Young Thug did. <laughs> no, no. Gun did the same thing. Yeah, they didn't jump no. no, the same thing. Yeah, dog. Yeah, dog. Same, yeah, dog. Yeah, but if you know, charge, but it, no, but if they you both know, fight. But no, let me tell you something, cuz I understand that. But if y'all know anything about that shit, like somebody got to be the head. If I, <laughs> but this dog, if like say a phone call come in to me and it's for you, and I pass you the phone, hello, yeah, what, what our boy uh, uh, Stu, yeah, he right here, hold on, dog, and I pass him, yeah. that's Rico. <laughs> that I pass is. it to you, and you get fun. I just because I pass you the phone, that's Rico. That is, that is how you feel me. Them on like the that's tops. that's yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like you was I don't, locked in too. You so, was in the situation. So that, so so by me passing the phone to you, do you, am I doing what Thug doing? That's what I'm saying. So, oh, you saying like gonna pass the phone? I'm I'm saying it's like that. <laughs> gonna pass. I'm saying that I don't okay, know the okay. I ain't read the 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 the, the, the statements even well, though out the there. Free... It's all public opinion. But I don't think Gunner was involved like how <laughs> Thug <laughs> was. Well, if you had to free <laughs> one, who you gonna free? Young Thug or Gunner? Gunner. That thug. Is... Sorry. You understand? Well, young Thug got to free. Young Thug. Like, why? Gun on my dog, but like, I'm why? Why young would thug. you young listen? Thug, listen, Young with, Thug made all of middle them. Gunna, you're missing the point. Gunna can't make the them. rich thug can make some more. No, I Gunna ain't talk, I'm not that. talking about nobody making nobody I rich. I know, but I'm saying I'm try- Thug can make another <laughs> gunner. No, no, no. What? I want Thug out. Thug <laughs> make can gunna. make. There's no he, other gunner. Listen, there's no other gunner. Gunner is one of a kind. Listen, dude, about, I'm not no talking about no music. Think about thug Y'all influence. missing the point. We ain't talking about no damn music. We talking about kid people that sending hits out on people to kill people's family members. <laughs> Fuck the music. I ain't talking about no music. Because if they kill one of your family members, you ain't talking about no damn music. That's true. But I dude. ain't talking about no music. I'm, you ask me but who they be I want to the song. Man, I'm not talking about no music. Y'all missing the point. The music shit don't matter right now when you got... I guarantee they ain't thinking about no music in them. They sure not. Yeah, they trying to, they trying to use it against I guarantee you they ain't thinking about no music, dog. We finally found that video from You see how many of them so-called thugs are now snitching? Yeah, they be Are check, now turning? Be checking out. Are now talking about they crying? Checking the prosecutors out. and crying today? Checking and out. And who they crying about? They ain't crying about Gunner. Who they crying about? <laughs> Young thug. That's who they crying about. But that's so how y'all boss. want the one that y'all y'all want to let out the cat that everybody crying about that's saying put that's doing all the most that created the, the 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 mess, man. Listen, everybody at some point or another, dog. No matter what you do, I done learned it the hard way. You gotta you make your bed, you gotta sit in that bitch for mm-hmm. however long it is, and you gotta do what you gotta do. And either change 
or you got to sit in that bitch and get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what life is. Life is, a, 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 if you don't get it right, life you is a reoccurrence of the same thing. Yep. Until you, until get, you it. get them right. And then you, 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 you conquer that and then you move on. But if you don't get it right, the same thing's going to keep showing up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, we all deal with it, dog. I deal with it. We all deal with it in some way, shape, or form to get that shit right. And I think, honestly, that's what I, that's what all these, when you at this position where you got this brand and you got this power and you got this influence, really, and this platform is influence on individuals, especially young kids that look like you, come like you, all that shit, dog. I think you have a... Whether you acknowledge it or not or know it or not, you have a responsibility just based on where you came out of, where you are, and who looks up to you. And you either take that shit seriously or you don't. Some people do, some people don't. And I think some people, they pick and choose when they want to because it's beneficial for them. And I think that's something that Thug did. I think he did that in, in a retrospect. And, you know, uh, I whatever anybody got to go through, you go through it. They come out of it, dog. So, you know, good luck to him, good luck to Gunner, good luck to all of them. But if I had the free one, I free Gunner before I tell it. I ain't lying. What you got? Last one. Yeah, we do got the last one. I'm going to give it to Ryan. Give it to him. The last one. You, you got a dog? You know what I'm talking about. All right. So, you know young boy, right? YB. NBA, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, he beat his federal case. Yeah, he beat both of them. Well, he didn't beat the one in BR yet. But okay, he, he okay, probably okay. gonna beat that one because they said the one in California was the was harder pro- one. Right, right, right. So yeah, he could probably beat that one. So yep. after he beat it, uh, his manager and his team said that his first tour because he ain't done it done a tour in like two years. They said his first tour gonna be in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> hey, dog. Listen. <laughs> And he beefing with dirt. Ah. Beefing with dirt. Beefing with Polo G beefing with all them boys in Chicago. He beefing with everybody. It's probably not many people he not beefing with. But then again, like the people that don't like dirt, they on young boy side too. Like the people in Chicago, dirt dissing, like that's that's young boy people now. Like what, like the FBG? In yeah, like FBG, because like you know, like the enemy of your enemy is my friend. So like that's how they do it. Like saying so. Like when, once well, young look, boy man, go to Chicago, they go look out for him. Young boy dirty for that. They got it. Um, they, they dirty for that. He ain't but FBG, that. I mean, hey, Ruka. I, I don't know. The score is not up right now. I don't know who. Oh, yeah, the boys. I don't head. know who here any of the young cats here. That'd be six to twenty-four. I know the man. You know what I'm saying, Stu? Yeah, but this dog. is one thing I do know that young boy gonna sell out. He will. Soon as he start touring, he gonna sell out. And it's gonna be big arenas too, not no little clubs. Man, listen, man, he ain't going to no clubs no more unless he want to. Listen, man. I, see I think concept. baby, baby, shout out to baby. I think baby is one of the great talent evaluators Definitely. of our time. Little baby? Nah, Birdman. Birdman. Stunner, sorry. Stunner. <laughs> that was Stunner. I think Birdman is one of the great talent Stunner. evaluators of our time. Shout out to Birdman, Cash Stunner. Money, all that. And, and, Listen, I seen the interview with Birdman Cover. Listen, he 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 you seen he discovered Thug. Lil Wayne. He had him pop. I, I ain't even talking about them though, OP. <laughs> oh, I'm you just talking, talking about, about the new generation. I'm just, I'm just talking about like the ones he stamped and didn't even before, like he stamped him, stamped young boy them like five, six, seven years yeah. ago. I heard Rich him talking about young too. boy. All, all them. And so, you know, shout out to Birdman with Italian. I don't anywhere. It's over with for 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 young boy as far as like little arenas and stuff like oh, that yeah, he, the kid's too big bro like you can't kid, even come to br because they don't have an arena big now the to kid's feed. too big man you see this i saw he this kid making like videos in his garage or something when he was on house arrest and it's getting 15 million views and all he that crazy stuff now. like that that's what i'm saying like dog is you know it's it, the 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 controversy and everything that he's been a part of has made him bigger exactly it's i mean he's his gasket is he he's blown and then and it's just like it's just like baby said about seven years ago he's a billion dollar artist when he you know went to I mean? jail his album went number one and it never like sold that many copies before when he was in jail that's crazy that's crazy but yeah i mean i think that um him going to chicago i definitely think is a flex i don't know how smart it is it's smart uh, I mean, they got we'll that see. Got man, we'll see, man. You don't know, dog. The like we talk thing, about the one thing. The one thing you know about situations is you never know how situations end up. True. You could think that, hey, I'm, I got this, I got this back, and I got this back. And all these guys that we see in Paris, God bless them. Hopefully, thought that they had some kind of realm. 
the, the thing is, though, you have this realm of invincibility when you have all this money and have, you have all these people around you that you think, well, let me tell you something, bro. And, you, and we've seen this time and time. We've seen this. Tragedy comes all the time. And, you know, it's a, it's a move on his part to start his tour, whatever it may be. And we'll find out if it's a smart move on his part. I'm sure you're going to have all kind of police. You're going to have all kind of FBI. Yeah. You're going to have all that already, you know, going in place anyway because they know the situation as well. It's not just, you know, old block or, you know, uh, I don't even know, young boy, them crew. Them, Full the, tree. All that. Like, I don't, you know, them officers and all of them, all them cats in the limelight, all them cats got cases. All them cats been in and out of this and that. So, you know, the, the police and all that know that. So that's why I say I don't know if it's, you know, going to be that smart of a situation. It may be, like you say, because he's going to have all that security and all that stuff there. Um, but I think, honestly, bro, he going to need all that everywhere he go. He going to need all that any venue he going to. He going to need that as soon as he start moving around the country, moving around because, you know, I, he's made so many enemies. Yeah. He's made so many, like you don't, these cats got too much money. These have, these guys have, like they always talking about the hitters and shooters and all this bullshit. Like these guys, you just, you just never know. So he's a guy that's going to have to, everywhere he goes, everywhere he moves, in my opinion, just based on everything that's going on, he's going to have to move with, you know, move in a way where he stays safe. And uh, look, man, hats off the young boy. I like his music. Um, uh, my, my damn kid like his music. <laughs> Um, you know, I think he turned up, I think he definitely bring a lot of energy to the stage, energy to his music. So, I mean, you know, good luck to him and hope all them guys, whenever they start doing their thing, moving around our people outside now, that they stay safe, man. They stay safe and look at each other. Cause you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, motherfuckers killing each other that look like each other, you know? So hope that get cleaned up and I hope his tour goes well. And I hope that nothing crazy happens, dog. You know that I mean? first tour they gonna be crazy. He's gonna be crazy. But his op said he don't need no security. <laughs> Who? His op said he don't need no security. <laughs> That's what they all say before they get bashed. I mean, he don't be. Hey, Ryan, you can vouch. He don't need no security. I mean, he really don't. Like it'd be smart if he had it, but he really don't. He need. said he was gangster for the buzz. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. And that man, man Fredo, man. Bang. I like. Fredo. I like. Bang I, I like too. Fredo too. Well, I like Fredo Bang. I like all them boys. Man. Shout out to them boys from Baton Rouge, them, new, uh, them, them young popping artists. Gotta shout out T. Start all them boys, man. Good luck to the boys. Because I know everybody coming outside now for all these tours and concerts and everything. But y'all stay safe. But make sure y'all like and subscribe and tune in to where my dog is at. Listen, for Stu, J, O, P, look at Stu. We out this thing. We'll see you again next week.